No iPads. Stand up. Good morning, class. Good morning, Sit down. First of all, let's take the attendance. Can you guys tell me who are absent today? No! Okay, let's get to work. Oh, it's, so, it's going to be a long day. Wow, time flies. Let's get to my class. Good morning, class. Let's start our lesson today. Today, I'm going to teach you guys the usage of passive voice. Uh, his voice is so deep. This is so boring. I really want to sleep. Pay attention. Pay attention. Why can't you guys stop chatting? You are here to learn, not to chat. Please focus to my lesson. This is my final warning. You understand? Yes. Goodbye, class. Goodbye, and thank you, Mr. Young. Remember to bring your ATA book and your grammar book tomorrow. Hey, Mr. Tam, let's have lunch together. Sounds good. Uh, let me share what happened to me today. My students just can't stop talking. I'm getting very frustrated. Uh, it's time for me to work. Lots of work for me to do. This paper aren't going to mark themselves. Uh. Wow, this student did very well in his paper. I see great improvements. And this is the last paper for me to mark, just in time for me to go home and have, and have my dinner. <sighs> Today is such a long day. Hi, Jen. Have you ever wondered what it's like to become a teacher? Mm, actually, I've considered it a few times before. In this video, we will interview some teachers to share about what it's like to teach in our school. Oh, I see. We have prepared some questions for our teacher. Let's find out. Hello, Mr. Leung. Hello. What makes you want to become a teacher? Um, I think uh, this is my lifelong dream. Um, starting from the secondary school, I already wanted to be a teacher because um, I like to hang out and maybe play with the teenagers and the youngsters. Um, so I hope I can be a teacher and then I can help the secondary school students um, for their academic and also their, their career life. Yeah. Well, uh, I want to be a teacher when I was a I think when I was in year two at university, because I was at church and I was working with a lot of teenagers, so much younger than I was, and then I love it. Mm -hmm. That's why, that's why I, I became a teacher. When I'm studying in secondary school, I'm facing lots of the problems, such as academic problem and the problem of making friends. And when I am really painful at that time, my Chinese teacher helped me a lot. For example, he will talk with me after school. And that makes me become, um, more interest to being a teacher. What is your typical day? One of the um, typical uh, moments is uh, every uh, recess and also lunch break and after school, there are some students finding me to discuss something uh, about academic and also something meaningless, <laughs> just chit chat with me. And this is my typical day here. So my typical day, uh, I started with a coffee and then non-stop working having lessons, uh, doing a lot of different uh, lesson preparation or uh, a lot of meetings to attend. But still, I think it's fulfilling and really fun. First, I will have a breakfast at my seat. And after my fruit flow breakfast, I will start to mark my student homework. What do you do to relax? I love cooking. I'm quite a good cook. So uh, if I'm really stressed or, you know, uh, when I'm tired, I like to, you know, make myself a very good meal. Hope we can try your food one day. Oh, maybe you can. Yeah. <laughs> if the free time is at night, uh, I think some of you know that uh, I sing and play piano at my home. As you know, I'm a person who really likes working. So for relaxing, I will mark my student homework at my home. That's the way how I relax. Interesting. Can you share any stressful or memorable moment while you're teaching? There's a scene I always remember. In after school, uh, there uh, some uh, extra tutorial to my Form 5 or Form 6 students and actually they are very tired at that moment but they still uh, um, work or do the exercise very hard and I think this is the most memorable for me because I can see their perseverance and also their um, hard working and their focus in my subject. On the other hand, the most stressful moment uh, may be when my student um, have already worked very hard in my subject, they still cannot get the very good results in the quiz or the examination. And then I will think how I can help them to improve. That's my 
more stressful moment. It was quite recent because uh, it was the first time I got COVID in late May, right before the exam. And I should be, you know, I should have been done all this uh, revision uh, thing with my students, but then I was sick. And uh, it was my first time, so it was quite serious. But I was really happy because my students uh, sent me messages wishing me to come back earlier, and they said that they really miss me for real this time, not just you know, you know, being nice. As all we know, BHJS is really a good school, so I don't have any stressful moment. So maybe I will mention about the memorable moment. Um, I'm one of the teacher of the Chinese drama, and one of my favorite moment or memorable moment is that uh, we have a performance in Sha Tin, and when I when I saw the students, they really uh, working hard for the drama. For example, they practice a lot, and on show, they really uh, pay a lot of effort, and even some of them crying on the stage. Thank you. Thank you for your hard work yeah. uh, on Chinese drama team. You too, I appreciate you too. it. You too, Jen. Thank you.